Hello everyone, this is uh, actually part two of a, uh, I guess, a set of two tutorials on how to uh, ping with from a combo box in wind forms. Um, but this one, the point isn't so much the combo box and passing stuff around as it is using the system.net.networkinformation.ping. Um, so that is the main objective of this course. So I'm going to be reusing uh, some of the stuff that I had done in the other video and definitely look back. It's the video immediately before this one. Uh, it's called something like pinging how to combo box to diagnostic style process with ping I think. Um, anyway, so going to get into this pretty quick and actually this is going to be a pretty short video because um, we're only really covering one thing. Um, so to get to it, um, I've got already a wind form built um, where I have a combo box named CMB hosts. I have a list box named LST results, and I have a button button named BTN pinger. Um, let's see. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go into our form load event. And the only thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to have it bind to a dictionary. Um, I'm going to have a dictionary bind to our combo box, to be precise. Um, this is, like I said, something we already built. And uh, what am I doing today? Okay, so from our form load event, we're going to just call bind with dictionary there are no parameters so it's just like that and then in our private void bind with dictionary I'm going to paste this in um, you might as well take just a second and pause the video if you want to copy this down um, otherwise if you already have a data source or have another way that you're already binding and you're just doing a quick uh, reference go ahead and just keep watching um, okay so I've got that. Um, if you want to go ahead and kind of prototype this out just a little bit, I've also got um, our private void for our button pinger click. I have a private void for ping host that accepts a string host. And I have the CMB host selected index change, which I'm not actually using. I just tend to click stuff I shouldn't. Um, okay, so we have that. Um, and if we go ahead and run the application where it is right now, we're going to see that I am binding that dictionary where our key in our dictionary uh, key value pair is set to the caption basically. And if we actually echoed out the dot value, we'll get the host name. So Google would be www www.google.com okay so we have that and now to get into the part that I actually um, am doing this video for um, where we have our ping host and we want to from there do I have a button yes I do okay so from our BT in pinger um, we want to pass in the host name that we're going to use to ping using system.net.networkinformation.ping. So we're just going to go ahead and call ping host. And I'm going to be lazy and not create a, uh, a string all on its own just because it is going to be so short. Um, so we're going to do combo or cmb hosts.selected value and go ahead and cast it to a string. And then in our ping host method, um, we're going to go ahead and first off, uh, go ahead and make sure that you are doing a using system.net.network information. Once you have that, in theory, we can get away with just doing ping. If you want to be a little bit more literal with it, system.net.networkinformation.ping. And I'm going to call it pinger. And it's going to be a new ping. 
Easy enough. Okay, once we have that, the next thing is we need to create a variable to actually hold on to what happens with our ping. So this is going to be a ping reply. And I'm just going to call it reply. And so we've got our reply is a uh, is from pinger dot send, and we're going to pass in our host just like that. So when we click the button, it's going to read from what's selected in the CMB hosts, pass it into this method, and pinger is going to dot send to our host and go into that reply variable or that reply object. Now this is going to be where we actually get the um, fun stuff that we can get with the dot net thing um, which is a lot more manageable than the previous video where we were using ping.exe. Um, so that reply object actually has a lot of good data in it. Um, so to get some of it, we're going to go ahead and do list results dot items dot add, and first we're going to echo out where we're pinging to. So um, I'm going to do ping to, and then plus, and then we're going to do our reply object dot address, and let's go ahead and also do add and to our time and our reply object dot round trip time and then the last thing that I'm going to grab from it is uh, the ultimately most important thing uh, our status And the off chance that anyone watching this isn't a big command line person, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the command line. And let's ping bing.com. All right, so whenever we do a ping, um, by default, it's going to look like this. You're going to get four attempts. Um, it's going to tell you uh, what it resolved that host name to, the, the IP address that it resolved. It's also going to give you a little bit of information like pinging with 32 bytes of data, your uh, response time, your time to live, and then it'll give you just your statistics on it. So to some extent, this is what we're recreating, um, except for ours is going to look a little bit different. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start this application. And we know what, looks, what it looks like when we hit ping. So let's go ahead and do ping again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit ping it. And there you go, except for I forgot to do reply.status. Okay, let's try Bing again. Okay, so one thing is just look how fast that was compared to Wow, that returned something. That's scary. Okay. So that doesn't seem all that fast. I mean, it's not horrible, but compared to that, it's like I can just keep going, and it's quick. Um, but anyway, um, we'll notice that we are getting, like I was saying, um, pretty much the exact same information back. We're getting about the same time. We're getting same host name, and we're getting success messages so that's it that easy that simple um, and I really think if ever you find yourself in a place where you're trying to decide whether you should use ping.exe and redirect that output back in your application and then try to do some kind of like regex thing or you can just use system.network.networkinformation.ping and then a ping reply to get the part that you need I would personally definitely go this route um, that's really the end of this video thanks um, if you have questions about any of this leave it in the comments feel free to message me as well and then definitely please like the videos thanks